Okay, this seems kind of strange. So I guess we can move the pieces around. I guess, we, oh, okay, we need to make it level, right? So this is probably like this. This needs to be like this, maybe? Can you work with me? Maybe all the way up? No, okay. This goat needs to be lined up correctly. Let's see. There, no? What's our, like, how do we know what is our, like, I guess, leveling point for the floor? Like, when is the floor considered to be straight? Uh, maybe like this? And then this one needs to be, oh my god, this is so hard. Can I flip it over all the way? No, I feel like I'm just guessing at this point. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just clicking and dragging. I don't really know how to figure this one out. There, there we go. That was really hard. Well, I should say it wasn't really hard. It was just kind of strange because I, I wasn't sure how to position them. Where are we at? We are currently 12 levels away. So yeah, we'll wrap up chapter one for this video and then we'll do chapter two in the next video. Oh, squiggles. These are always fun. All we need to do is just line them up. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, dude, just honestly, this really is not that bad of a puzzle. Famous last words. It was, in fact, a very hard puzzle. Although I'm hoping it isn't. Hopefully it's pretty straightforward, right? I mean, we're just matching up everything. Uh, this seems like that goes not there. Which one goes in the corner over here? Not that one. Why? Why is this so hard now? This is kind of what I was talking about, where these games start off deceptively simple, but they do get harder as you go along. Um, so these are all of the, the pieces available to us. So how do we get this set up? Okay, cool. I got my first chime. That tells me this is the right spot for this. And now that we have our base, we can just build off of it. See what connects to that. Probably not this. Oh, that goes there. I don't really like how it chimes for every one though. I would much prefer it to like just chime for one and then let me figure out the rest. It goes there. We need one here. We need another arch. So that's probably gonna be uh maybe this one? No. Which one connects to this? No. I think that this should go right here though. No, not that. Uh I thought that it would be that, but I guess it's not, so maybe. It's, uh, maybe it's this one? Yeah, there we go. It's all coming together now. Uh, put this here. Nope, that goes there. And then where does this piece go? It probably goes somewhere up here with this piece, right? This probably goes here. And then this connects with this, which connects with this. Um, so these three connect in a nice L. Well, no, it actually it doesn't because of this piece. Uh, ch -ch that goes there, here, and then we do need one more piece, right? It's this piece that goes, not there. Where would you go? Oh no, how is none of this right? Oh, because this one's wrong. This probably goes here, and then this goes here. Oh yeah, not too bad. Puzzle was pretty, pretty nice and Straightforward. Pencils. What do we do with the pencils? Oh man, this is tough. So they're in they're in different lengths. So I'm guessing we just need to put them in order of oh wait, the length different is in the tip. So maybe we go by shortest to biggest. So this is the shortest. Um then it looks like it's this one, maybe, right? And then this one, and then this one, and then this is the last biggest one. That doesn't seem right. So what is the correct thing? Erasers are different lengths too. Um, let's see, maybe it's the overall length of the pencil. Maybe I'm doing that thing where I looked at it in pieces instead of it as a whole. But I also kind of think maybe it's the eraser. I don't know, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to figure this one out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it has something to do with the way you position it? Like this? Maybe you need to get it perfectly straight, right? <laughs> as you could tell, not the most organized person. I was just like flailing them around, but you actually just needed to get them lined up by length in the middle of the uh, screen. I wonder if the number of stars I earn is based on the number of clicks I do. 
This is probably going to be like the last one we did where we're going to organize biggest to smallest. So this probably goes on the bottom and then... Oh, that's pretty big actually. Wait, maybe it's not it's supposed to go like that. I'm kind of thinking it does though, but maybe I'm wrong. I need to move everything around. I can't function when everything's just kind of thrown in a mess on the screen. I'm not the most organized person, but I can't work when things are a mess. Okay, let's let's think. How do we do this? Do we just sort by size? Uh, are we grouping? If we're just grouping, then it would make sense that the this right here gets this maybe. Maybe this goes here? No, that doesn't go there. Okay, there has to be some method to this, right? I, I'm kind of inclined to think that uh, we need to put a stamp right here on the letter, but nothing's fitting. So maybe it's not a stamp. Ah, uh, geez. This goes here, maybe? No. If we're, if we're organizing by size, I would assume that it'd be this, then maybe this? No? Letters go together? The letters do not go together. That looks neat, right? No? Okay, what would go here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this? To tape? Really? I know that the envelope's supposed to go there. It made the sound, but... Does this go here? No? What? What is supposed to go where? Hmm. Kind of hitting a wall here. Maybe this goes on top? No. Okay, I need to think this through. Like, there has to be some sort of pattern that I'm not fully recognizing yet at the moment. I guess I should really ask myself what would go with the paper, right? So what would go with the paper? Maybe that? No. Why do we have paper? I'm not seeing that it goes anywhere right there, so maybe we just need to stack stuff on top? Oh man. This doesn't make sense. Like, what goes with what and where does it go? Maybe... Oh, okay, so that goes in the corner. Does this go on it? No. Am I, am I just supposed to, like... I think I'm just supposed to neatly organize everything on the desk, right? That's... weird. I'm guessing the paper goes there, right? That seems fitting. And then this little sticker goes here, here, and here. Okay, so it was just put everything neatly on the desk. And then this last one goes right here. Not too bad. And the cat messed it all up. Next puzzle. Oh no, the books. This is going to be tough. How do we do this? What is the pattern I'm supposed to be looking for? I see lines on the book. Maybe I'm supposed to line up these lines. Uh, does this match up with anything? I don't think so, right? Maybe the bottom line goes here? Or does this go in the middle? Okay, I think that we need to do something with these lines, right? It's The lines on the book have something to do with the pattern because I'm not seeing any way to make this symmetrical. I think that we just need to figure out how the lines work. Um, okay, so one thing I'm noticing is that it's solid lines and then more transparent lines. So maybe that has something to do with it too. It's not immediately clear to me how to solve this. I'm thinking that maybe it has something to do with... Maybe I can use these solid colored books in some way. I'm trying to figure out how I can use these solid colored books. My initial theory for this puzzle was that I needed to line up these lines on each book, but that's not seeming to be the case. Another thing that I'm, I'm noticing is that there are lines on the book's spine. For example, on this green one, there's three. This blue one, there's two. There's five right here on this yellow and, and so forth. Maybe I need to line these up in numerical order by the number of lines on each spine. And that theory was wrong. So back to square one, how do I solve this? What is the pattern that I'm missing? Hmm, maybe I'm supposed to do something with it color-wise? Maybe certain colors go together? Size-wise, it doesn't seem to really matter as much either. Organizing by size isn't immediately giving me something to look for either. Why can't I recognize the pattern? Why can't I see it? It's not immediately clear to me how 
I'm supposed to organize this. I, I wonder if maybe the number of designs on the spine are supposed to... I wonder if you're supposed to pair up the books based on the number of designs on the spine. So, like, this one has three, but nope, that's not right. A hint would be really nice right about now. What I'm trying to do now is organize these books based on where the line is on the spine. I'm going to go from... I'm going to put them into ascending order. That was it. That was it. I just had to line up the line on the spines in ascending order. I, I don't know why I didn't try that at the beginning, because that was the first thing I called out, that it probably had something to do with the spine, the line on the spine. I need to trust my initial suspicion when I approach these puzzles, because I would have had this solved fairly quickly if I had trusted my gut and started organizing these into either ascending or descending order. Oh no, more pencils. Why? Why does this game have an obsession with pencils, dude? Ah, oh, this is so crazy. I mean, it's probably the same puzzle we've been dealing with. Just put them in ascending order, right? Nothing too crazy. Just need to... That goes... So this is going to go here. This is here. Just, come on. Straighten up, please. Straighten up, please. There you go. Come on. Is this... Thing messing me up come on why aren't you falling straight dude hang on come on dude seriously why all right that's good enough for me and are you supposed to match up the pencil shavings oh i guess that was what you're supposed to do just put it all in ascending order wait 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 you're supposed to just toss the pencil shavings off the screen Okay, I thought you had to throw the pencils off screen too for a moment there. I s am not the biggest fan of how anal this game is with positioning. There we go. This seems good now. Come on, dude. Come on. Straighten up. I just need you to fall straight for me. Okay, so I was able to get them to straighten up, but it, it looks like I need to go in descending order for this. Is this the right way to solve this? Yeah, so they flipped it on us. And instead of going ascending, we had to go from biggest to smallest. All right, on to puzzle number 19, I think. We are almost done with chapter one. Oh no. Okay, this seems kind of not too bad. Just need to make sure we get the record on right. Okay, we can adjust the speed with this knob. What else can we adjust? You know, it's funny, I, I have one of these uh, record players in my office, and I, I don't really use it that often, and I'm I'm a little familiar with vinyl, vinyl discs, but I'm not sure why it's scratching. Maybe it's because of the scratches on it. Okay, that's what it was. I, I had it positioned over some scratches, so I just had to put it in the middle so that it wouldn't hit any scratches. Oh, cool. We actually finished clearing out chapter one. So we'll end the video here and next video we'll clear out chapter two. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.